do not respect people who are single and don't have children. Society tells us that we are supposed to get married in our 20s, have several babies, and be all settled down and have it all figured out by our 40s. And this is success. This is happiness. But what if this isn't your journey? What if this isn't your story? But what if I told you that societal norms are trash? This weekend, I was able to spend time with my BFF as we celebrated her 40th birthday. And on our drive back from New York, we started reflecting on life's milestones. Now, I'm older than her, so I was interested in her perspective on how it felt now to be 40 and what it meant to her. There is some pressure to turning 40. And I remember when I turned 40, feeling like I had not checked all of the boxes and therefore was not successful. Because society tells us that we need to be married and or have children by a certain age. As I approached my 40th birthday, I found myself just feeling a sense of panic and a sense of dread that I had not done all that I was supposed to have done as I approached that milestone age of 40. The average age of marriage in the US is 28 years old and 30 for men. And as my 40th birthday approached, instead of just celebrating that and being happy in that, what did I do? I went and latched on to some guy that has liked me for like 20 years. I would not recommend doing that, by the way. But I latched onto him in desperation and I knew it wasn't gonna work for those 20 years. Why I chose to do that? Because society said I should have been with someone and what better than to like hook up with someone who has liked me for so long, except he saw me as desperate as well. It's no worries. I did not like him and it didn't work out, it didn't last long, it literally went nowhere. It's like if you're driving a stick shift and you let up off the clutch too fast, that's how quick it was over. <laughs> but I look at myself and I look at what I've been able to accomplish. I have multiple degrees, I have a wonderful career and profession. I am of service to others in my profession, but even every day as a person. I have a vehicle, I have my own home, I'm able to pay my own bills based on the jobs that I have. And I'm just really fortunate. And I think there is something to be said about that to feel successful, you know, in its own right. Yet and still, I wondered, what would my high school classmates think? What would my college classmates think? Those who've been married, those who have children, what would they think of me never having been married and never having had children? Notice I didn't say friends. Notice I didn't say family. But those are the people who actually matter. And research shows that women have excellent relationship with family and friends. So I'm going to tell you, as a woman over 40, I feel that the benefit to having remained single all this time, and probably the reason I did remain single all this time, was because I found myself in each of those relationships trying to be who that other person wanted me to be. And by being single, I have been able to figure out who I am, embrace who I am, and love who I am. And then for the next person who came to me, I was able to say, this is who I am. You like it or lump it, it's fine with me. Everyone is not for everyone, right? I'm not for everyone and that's okay. And I look back on the person that I just knew I loved um, when I was younger and someone else I dated for quite a while. And I'm like, I wouldn't be who I am today if I had been with them, right? And so every choice that we make or do not make lends to being part of our journey as human beings. As a single person, I come and go as I please, whether that's in and out of the house, whether that's out in and out of the country, I come and go as I please. I'm accountable to no one. I spend my money how I want. I don't have to worry about anyone else. Now, granted, I do think it's beneficial financially to be coupled. However, that's not my situation at this time. And so as a result, I bring in bags from the mall as many as I want, when I want, and that's just what it is. And I'm grateful to be able to do that. I remember distinctly one of my friends and I, 
we were starting orientation at a new job and she was like, oh, I'll teach, treat you to breakfast. We went up there to check out and her card was declined. She was shocked and appalled. She ends up calling her husband and he had pulled the money from the account because he didn't want her to spend it. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> you work hard. As nurses, we work hard. How is someone taking the money from you, one, without you knowing it, two, it being your money? And I know that's not everyone's situation, but at that moment I was like, mm-mm. No. But all this to say, being single has prepared me to be a better mate in the event that I end up with someone. Also, dating now as a 40 plus person, I don't feel the pressures that I felt approaching my 40th birthday or like from my mid 30s on. You know, I know that no one expects me to get married at this point. <laughs> it's sad, but true. But that takes pressure off of me. No one expects me to have children at this point. So that takes pressure off of me. You know, I can date and take my time with that. I'm not in a rush. If I get married, great. If I don't, that's also fine. And no one's expecting me to walk down the aisle tomorrow. And I think the pressures of societal norms lends to people getting married very quickly and then later finding themselves divorced. According to the US data, the average length of time that a couple is married is only eight years. Now, some of that can account for evolving as people and individuals being able to evolve as a couple through those changes. Societal norms don't only impact those of us who are 40 and over. They impact the younger ones too. For example, you find that people who are getting married at 28 and 30, female and male respectively, are divorcing within eight years. Now, society says that the norm is to get married, the norm is to then have children, and then you get divorced. It's all that to say people my age are now finding themselves single and divorced or separated and now looking for the second serious relationship. Societal norms don't have to be our norms. Live life on your own terms. And that is my tip to those who are approaching 40 or over 40 and finding themselves childless or, you know, or uncoupled. Do what works for you and to buck the norm. And I feel that way about childbirth as well. You know, I have to tie it in. But I feel like women are pressured to have birth a certain way, to give birth a certain way, you know, with an epidural, without an epidural, to breastfeed or not to breastfeed. At the end of the day, it is your decision and you don't have to base your decision on anyone but yourself and what works best for you and the child that you're bringing into this world. I just wanna show love to those who are feeling like they're less than or feeling like they're not measuring up to societal norms and standards. I hear you, I see you but do what works best for you. We are all in this thing called life together and it takes to have different experiences to make the world go round and relate to each other. So if you are 39 and over and single, drop a purple heart in the comment section. If you are married and happily married and expecting children or not, uh, drop a red heart in the comments. And if you are married but wish you hadn't gotten married super young, then drop a black heart in the comments. Everyone is welcome here. This is a platform for everyone. My message here today is to just embrace your journey as it is and enjoy the ride because we never know when we're going to get off and try something else. So just appreciate where you're at and how you got there. All right, like, comment, share, and follow.